G'day everyone, MB here, and we are back with MTG Arena, Ikora, Lair of the Behemoth. So this is our first uh, deck that we've made for this set. I've actually made uh, quite a few, I think I made about seven, that I've been on and off testing. Uh, I have a lot of free time recently, and this is the first chance I've been able to record for a while since the set came out. So we're going to play one of the newer ones I've built, which I've called Big Boy Trample. I uh, couldn't think of a really good name, but essentially what this deck is, it is a Ilag the Razebore Jund deck because it has black in it. But essentially, um, we're using Ilag and his ability to um, bring in creatures tapped attacking from your hand to bring either in Quartzwood Crasher or Titanoth Rex in order to basically hit our opponent and beat them. So... Um, we're using a few new cards from the set, and I'll go through the cards first, and I'll go through why I've chosen said cards. So, for the one drops, we're starting with three Pelt Collector. Pelt Collector gets um, more counters every time you put a stronger creature out than him, and we do have lots of stronger creatures, so we can get a lot of value out of him. He also gets Trample if he has three or more counters. This becomes important later on. Uh, for the two drops, four Paradise Druid to Mana Fix and also to Ramp slightly. Also, Hexproof is pretty good. Three Zertar Goblin. Um, it's a Gruel card. Two, two for two. It's pretty good. Plus, as right. And it can get pretty beefy in the end, which is really nice. Three Bond of Flourishing. Uh, this was, I'm not sure where, what I was going to replace this with, but I've decided to keep Bond of Flourishing. It has come in handy, allowing us to gain a little bit of life to keep us in the game. And also to find either a land or a Ilarg or a Titanoth Rex, just to find us one of our game, you know, one of our pieces we need to, in order to pull our combo. Um, three Domri's Ambush to remove targets that we don't like. And also you can put counters on them, which is really good if you're using Pell Collector to get those counters to give them Trample. Again, I'll explain why the Trample is important later on. So that's three Domri's Ambush. Three Gruel Spellbreaker. Again, similar to Zertar Goblin, it's a great card. You get 3 for 3, plus right, and he already has Trample, and he's Hexproof on your turn. And you get Hexproof as well. So, I um, I like Bull Spellbreaker. It's a good card. 2 Rhythm of the Wild. I was running between 3 and 2 of this, and 2 Bond of Flourishing. You can change this however you wish. But I feel like more than 3 is too much, and 2 seems to be a really pretty good number. Um, the ideal play is to go turn 1, turn 2, uh, turn 3, turn 4, swing for that. That's the ideal play. So, 2 of this, you could raise it to 3. I've had good luck with 2. Maybe I might go back to 3 and check it out, but we'll see. So, that's our 3 block drops. Our 5 drops are quite numerous. So, we have 3 Ilag the Raise War. Um, the main guy of the deck, so whenever he attacks, you can put a creature from your hand off the battlefield tapped and attacking, but you return it back to your hand at the beginning of, your, of the end step, so at the end of the turn, it comes back. Uh, when this race board dies or goes into exile, you can put it back the third from the top of the library, so you can always get him back, and also you can bring him back anyway, so it doesn't matter. Three Quartz with Crasher. Now, this is a new card from uh, Ikora, and it is a really impressive card. So, it already has Trample, it costs 5 and it has 6-6, six, six, which is already pretty good. But, whenever one or more creature you control with Trample deals combat damage to a player, you create an XX Brain Dinosaur Beast token with Trample, where its attack and where its power and toughness is equal to the amount of damage you dealt um, by those creatures. Now, if you have three of these guys out, you'll create three tokens for that damage. So, if you, say, attack with an 11-11 that lets it go through, you'll end up getting an 11-11 green dinosaur token with Trample at the end of that turn. If you have multiple Quartz with Crashes, you'll end up getting multiple of these 11-11 tokens. And the, it builds up fast, and it's really nice. Now, we have Bonder Revival. Now, it seems like a weird choice, and I'll explain why. So, Bonder Revival, for those who aren't aware, is a... Um, Returning card. So you return a target creature you control from the graveyard back to your turn, and it gets haste. Now, there's two ways we do this. One 
is we use this to bring back Ilarg, who's died, who gets haste, who brings forth Titanothrex, or we bring a Titanothrex directly. Now, we don't have any discard cards in this deck. We used to, we don't need more because of this. So Titanothrex has a cycling ability, which means you pay two mana and you send him to the graveyard and you get to draw a card. So, and then when you do cycle, T-Rex here, he puts a trample counter on a target creature in your court. Now, uh, these counters are new to this set, which basically means you just give a creature trample forever. Now, he is a cost of 9, but he's 11-11. Now, he's not... You you really don't think you ever cast him from your hand. You either bring him forth with Ilhag, or you cycle him to the graveyard and use Bottom Rival to bring him back. So that's really nice. We are running lands. We ran 25 lands, to be precise. One Swamp, three Mountain, five Forest, three Blood Crypt, three Overgrown Two, four Stomping Grounds, four Temple of Abandon, and two Fabled Passages. And we do have a sideboard, which uh, I'm only going to place the best of one of this, but this is a work in progress. So we have two Destiny Spinner for um, stopping stuff from being countered. Um, yeah, it's all right. Three Flame Sweep for getting rid of small things. Two Cultists Got Destiny for exiling things like, say, a cat. It also helps you ramp a bit, and also you've got a lot of stuff here, so you can easily bring it out. Two Eat for Extinctions for getting for targeting those Plains Orcs, which we cannot kill right now. Uh, three Shifting Ceratops if we're going against blue, just side out other things for this. This is great, still it's a great card. Um, and also, we can make it protected from blue, and also, um, can't be counted, so it's pretty good. So, one in race, four runners, and then again, another great target for Illo or Wonder Revival, so that's always good. And two, the Great Hand. If we put this out, we could still, um, you know, get stuff each turn and play something. And also, you know, with these two out, you can bring it out pretty easily, so it's alright. Now, that is the deck. Let's jump into some games and see how we do. Dada Aya. Dada Aya. Um, hmm. Okay. I will keep this because. Cauldron for me is not a fun card for me. So, yeah. Leave that there. Grab this one. Two swamps. Lazdor Reva. Alright, well, that's interesting. That's not fun for me. Go Zertar Goblin and give him a plus one, plus one counter. Alright, good. He's got a three boost. That's pretty good. Now the Evan Legion. Which is Evan. Alright, so we're playing this game now. I'll just block. He'll sacrifice the cat. But then he hasn't got this for next turn. Interesting. Alright, that's cool. Alright, neat. So... Let's go with Domri's Ambush. This one into this one. Because, trust me, we do not want you around. Play the Blood Crypt. And you can attack. Let it happen. Beautiful. So you place thing that you can make that death yeah, touch. I don't. I don't want that. Oh, another call from familiar. The cats, not so worrying. It's the ovens that you got to worry about. All right, that's cool. Well. Let's go Bond of Flourishing first. <laughs> That's nice. Let's cycle out this guy. Tramples. I 
That's a Pell Collector. It's not bad. Um, if I... No attack. Because he'll just block with Cauldron Familiar. So, he could have done the thing. He didn't sacrifice his... Yeah, whatever. Each friend discards a card. Hmm. I'll pay for Pelt Collector, I guess. Hmm. Rhythm of the Wild. Now, I want this to happen. Now, you're probably thinking, why did you attack? Well, the answer is quite simple. I want him to, essentially, make himself die by playing out all his cards. Please attack me. Oh. Oh. For four damage. Mmm. Hmm. Bring forth the hasty boys. Well, I'm going to take this big old boy, this one, this one, please. Now, you can block one, but you can't block them all. Go through that one first. Dude. Like, why didn't you sack him? Save yourself a turn. Whatever. Don't give them that much to me. Victory is mine. do have an opener, so let's just go with this. Alright, we'll start with Temple Abandon and see where we go from there. Land is good, I'll take it. Now. We can either go Bond of Flourishing. But, I think for now, having that Goblin is good. He likes here. I do need land, and I do need a black land, so I'll take that. Um, he can do that thing where he gets himself big, but if he does that, he'll become three, four, five, and I can't stop that anyway, so might as well go while the going's good. Because soon it won't matter. Interesting. Alright, that's good. That works well for me. So, Pelt Collected go down. Paradise Druid go down. Give this guy a ticky ticky. Put this one down. It is tapped. Next turn I can play Parrot You. So, I think we go with Sertar Goblin. See if he attacks me. No, oh, he's blocking with that Knight of the Evan Legion. He would draw a card. Totally okay with this thing. One less thing to worry about. Leyline Proud of Death. 
like which eat. Not much fun. Is it? Um, do I want to? I do want to pay this for life. Put ill arc down. Go for it, you two. Five health collector. This thing has trample, and if it dies, I can just bring it back. So I'm gonna attack with it. Uh, you can't. Oh, Grazer. This is something to block with. Beaten? Beaten? I don't know. Like this did. That made no sense. What about the health like to go down? All right. Uh, next to combat. You, and you, off you go. Do you want to decline? Most likely, you'll block with Leyline. Let Ilarg die. Yep. You didn't have to do that, you know. Ilarg was going to die regardless. Uh, decline. Let it sit in the graveyard. He's going through his guys with a good arrow. Arrow here. Got a good head on those shoulders. <laughs> oh! You cannot run or hide. No, you cannot, my friend. Running is not so easy to do, especially when you're, you know, doing that. Now, let's be honest here. If I swing at him, can he survive? I don't think so. I don't think. All attack. Everyone, hit that thing. Four attackers. Go for it, put down the Rex. Um, is it here? Oh, ooh. Ah. Mm. That was satisfying. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a Pelt Collector. Turn one, turn two, and some later stuff. So I might just keep this hand for now. I'm gonna make my guy all pretty, pretty owl. Beautiful thing for the beautiful one. Your second, your third. Oh, it's a black and white deck. This is not fun. Goodbye, help collector. Nope, you can have it. He's like, ha, ha 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 you're not going to block. It's like, yep, that's true, I ain't gonna block. Now I feel health like He didn't, interesting. I don't know. Off you go, man. Go after him. Alright, you go next and put counter on you so you get to become three. Hmm, Dumber's Ambush is a good card. Uh, yeah, put that tapped. Then we play you. And you go with a plus one plus one card. If you go there, now you attack. Most likely he'll sacrifice Hunter Witness to get his lifeless creature. That's okay. That's fine by us, quite honestly, because we can put Ilhard down next turn. Unless we. Push the Kaya. Oof, there goes Pell Collector. Meh, yeah, it's alright. Alright, go you. Oh. Crap. Crap. Don't know why I did that. Um, just a green land, please. Alright, good luck. Off you go, man. Go for it, man. You just hit him, please. Yep. Kai's Wrath. No, Jaya's Breeding. 
Interesting. Yes. Oh, clever. That is very cl Oh, how clever is that? Do you think we should... Hmm, I'm... I'm going to put you... with haste. I'm going to hold you. There we go. And we're going to hold this up till the end turn. Cool, we get you back. Beautiful. Yeah, that works well as well for me. I don't love this hand, but I don't hate it either, so I'll keep it. Hmm, it's gonna cost me a lot of life, but I need to. You gotta play to win. You gotta win to play. So, it looks like, um, let's just sort this out a bit here. Alright, well, we've got most of the stuff we need for a good play, so I'm gonna... It's gonna hurt me to do it, but I'm gonna pay and get the pelt collector out. we got something on the board. We'll see how our opponent plays, what their next, uh, move is, and then we can make a choice. Okay, Season of Growth. This is interesting. So, let's go with this, and let's play Bond of Flourishing. Let's see what we can find. I want the lands purely because I want to get to this point here as fast as I can. So then there's not much he can do once we get to that point. Assuming we'll see what he does. Uh, Greenwood Sentinel. He's a scry. I think we'll put that. Put Zertar Goblin down, make him a 3-3, and then strong. Alright, good. Need you there. Let's go with Zertar Goblin. I'm going to put plus one, plus one counter on him. Make him stronger. Yep. Health collector go. See if he blocks. He did. Good. That's one less thing to worry about. The less creatures on the field, the better it is for me. Didn't do anything. Good. That works for me. Let's just go with this one. It's tapped. Combat. Off you go. Go for it. It's damage. We're just cycling at him, but I'm not. Don't want to do that yet. Because it wouldn't be enough to win. Alright, my turn. Play this. Play Illarg. Go for free. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Fine. Sure. Okay, this is interesting. Temple abandoned. Yeah, can't go wrong with that, just in case. Don't know what I'm versing. So, oh, black. Yeah, I don't like that too much. So, yes, you. Alright, then we go with Paradise Druid. Oh, Demir. Oh. Well, there goes Tyrant's Oh, there goes him. So that kind of sucked, didn't it? Oh, but if I put you... Now, I can't, now my stuff can't be countered in case he's running counters in his deck. That works for me. Ooh, big sandy. Ooh. Ooh, don't like that at all. Do not like that one. Plus one, plus one counter. Another flourishing. Come on, land. 
That'll do. Don't know what he's going to steal from me, but that'll come down with a plus one plus... Oh no, I'll do that. That. My bell's bright. Please attack me, please attack me, please attack me. Ooh. Three cards face down. Exile one of them. And so he took something and I lost the lands. It's unfortunate. Little does he know. Little does he know I am running. Oh. Haste. Go for it. Thinking, because if it does damage, I get a, t I get a dinosaur. Oh wow, he let it happen. Jeez. Oh, well. it's a dinosaur beast. What about when this one comes down as well? What about when I attack for three of them? If he kills him, we just bring him back and send him again. It's all good. I don't know what he took. I just hope. My hope is that he does something stupid. Spawn mayhem, huh? Yep, please. Yeah, he's thinking. Hold on to that feeling. What you stealing from me? I'm not right, I don't really care to be honest. Pretty sure I got this guy in the bag. Oh, he did it! Oh, he did it! He did it, boys! Hmm. Ooh. Hello. Off we go. It is. Thanks. Cheerio, my friend. Cheerio. Okay. Well, we start with the Temple Abandon. Let's see how we go from there. We'll go with you. Land is good. If we can get to five and get a big boy out. Nice. Yeah, if we get rid of the wild out, if he doesn't run in counter spells. Oh, Jesus. It's very terrifying. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Oh, Spectral Sailor. Not a counter spell. Let it go. Is it a flash deck? Maybe it's a flash deck. That's not much fun when that happens. Hmm. Ooh. That's nice, isn't it? Alright, how about we go with you? And... Okay, I guess. Hey everybody, welcome back. So that was a lot of fun. Um, people tend to scoop pretty quick when they when you do the Ilarg uh, Titanic Rex combo, but all in all, 
changes I would make. I feel like maybe going down one Bond of Flourishing and one Up Rhythm of the Wild might be a better combo. Maybe also a few other changes I might do. I'm thinking of rebuilding this deck. Oh, give my yawn. A bit tired now. I'm going to go to sleep now. Um, I'm thinking of removing Bond of Revival altogether and maybe a different iteration and just kind of turbo, more turbo raise bore. Uh, to Tenneth Rex and see how we go with that. But anyway, that is the deck for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for future videos. There will be new ones coming out in the frequent future due to the slew of new decks I've made that I really want to test out and show you guys it. But please, yeah, like and subscribe and leave a comment if you enjoyed this deck or you want to have suggestions for other decks or uh, improvements to this deck. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now, everybody.